Woo! All right, here we go, Dark Siders. So some people are going to be real excited about what I am about to share. Not everybody is excited about it. I'm going to tell you that right now. We're going to talk about why, too. So we are getting a new animated series. It looks like a partnership between HBO Max and Cartoon Network is a go. And we are going to get Batman, Cape Crusader, as well as a Superman animation as well, which I'm not going to touch at all because I really don't care about it from what I've read. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to talk about that. We're going to keep this Batman focus. Now, for those who loved BTOS, this is really exciting news, right? And when you hear about the fact that Bruce Tim is involved in this, you might be even more excited, and he is the artist that worked on BTOS. Maybe you are excited about getting this back in your life because there were so many people that love Batman the Animated Series. And it looks like this is going to be something fresh and new, a reimagining of Batman. And they are going to examine a couple of different things. This is exciting news, especially if you also like DC animations. And let me explain to you why I think this is so exciting. And then I'm going to explain to you why some people have a problem with this. Number one, I think this is exciting because DC's animated works are fantastic. It's come up against magic before Batman. Cersei, Trigon, Felix Faust. Even Shazam's powers are based in magic. I especially loved Justice League Dark. Everything almost about most of DC's animated works are just on point from the storytelling, the animation, the directing, the voice work, all of it is done so well. So when DC puts out something new that's animated, for me, it's always exciting. I love this because it's something fresh and new and it's a series, right? And for those of us that love the animated series, it's nice to get something new and it looks like this will be at least reminiscent of that vein. I think the storytelling is going to be a little bit different and that's where people are gonna have a problem. We're gonna talk about that in a second. What's exciting about animated series is that, think about the Dark Siders, you can do anything in an animated series. That's what's cool about animation. You have no production limitations. It's all up to what the artist can render and they can do anything. So animations are cool because you can be as creative as you wanna be. When you pair that ability with good writing and good voice work and good directing, you can have something absolutely fantastic. A great example of that is Invincible. Is mom's life worthless? In the grand scheme of things, yes. <gasps> Debbie. How can you say those things? How can you say that about Bob? Liar! That's an example of what you can do when you bring together great storytelling as well as very, very good animation and very, very interesting characters. So that's what excites me about this. Now, <sighs> All right, so listen, listen, listen. Okay, some people are gonna have some problems with this because it did say a reimagining of Batman. So the question, Dark Siders, is what, what, whoa, whoa, what does reimagining mean? What kind of stuff are we gonna get? And people are, there's all kinds of stuff that people are worried about from comments I've seen in people's response to this. Some people are worried about whether they are going to do things with Batman's gender, whether there are going to be all kinds of different things that are attached to this reimagining of Batman. And some people have a problem with that because they are saying that this messes with the core of who we know him as, as the Dark Knight or as Batman. I said as the Dark Knight because this supposedly is going to definitely have a noir bent to it. But they are also going to examine things like the psychology of Batman and go really deeper into the characters that are within the Batman ecosystem. And people are worried about what that will be. Especially people are saying, given the, the, the tenor of where we are today, what kind of changes will be made to Batman and will that be acceptable? We don't know really what they are going to do there. And that's the thing that kind of has some folks up in the air, some folks are worried about it. I will tell you personally, I'm looking forward to this. Now, I, I don't know how I will react if they make some kind of extreme changes to Batman. I tend to like superheroes with kind of these classic characteristics that are very large names, i.e. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, those heroes, I like for their classic characteristics to be represented. I, I that's, that, that's just where I am. When it comes to stuff like that, I'm like, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. When we're talking about iconic characters, Batman being one of them, 
don't 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 mess with his core characteristics. Don't do anything like that. Let me know what you think about this, Dark Siders. Are you excited about this news? Are you looking forward to it? Are you worried about what they will do to Batman in this new animated series? I will meet you in the comments below for the next hour. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here, all that good stuff, and hit the notification bells. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm working on a video right now about what director should actually valley for the title of the DCEU universe. And I'm thinking of somebody that's not Zack Snyder.